What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Lex Express checking in with yet another Matrix reaction video. So we got the second trailer that just dropped right now. We're going to react to it, talk about it, and, and see what happens. If you guys didn't see my last Matrix video, I went crazy, man. This is one of my most anticipated movies of the year, along with the No Time to Die, you know, the James Bond movie, which I haven't seen yet. And then I want to see the new Spider-Man as well. Those three right there. You know, there was other movies that I wanted to see and, and and was hyped for, but these three are, like, on another level. Those are, like, contending for number one movie of the year, in my opinion. Like, I just can't wait to watch them and see which one wins. But I am a super Matrix hype beast. I'm a super Matrix nerd. I can't wait to see this, guys. So I'm a little nervous. That's why you guys see me, like, kind of stalling here because I'm, I'm trying to gather myself for this reaction i'm not gonna overreact i'm not gonna do no crazy stupid shit you're not gonna expect that here but what you can expect is lots of entertainment so if you guys like live streams games movies sports just entertainment in general i upload vlogs and all that good stuff along with these types of videos so if you enjoy that type of content subscribe and drop a like if you haven't already let's let's cut it out and go straight to the video let's go got my got my headphones cracked up Oh, revisiting, fully revisiting. Oblivious. <laughs> oh man! For you to show us what oh my God, bro! They really took us back to the original, where it all began. My eyes are already watery, and I haven't even seen anything yet. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Zeta. Zion. Maybe this isn't the story we think it is. They taught you good. Oh man. Believe their world was all you deserved. But some part of you knew that was a lie. Some part of you remembered what was real. I'm excited to see what that actor brings to the table. That scene is gonna be dope. Same kind of noise. War. Was that Jada Pinkett Smith? Oh shit! What happens to Nia? Oh my god. It's my turn to believe in her. Oh, they're boosting her. Feels like I have been waiting my whole life for you. I got goosebumps right now. If you want to see Trinity again, Viper! This is interesting. Oh my god, this is interesting. I'm loaded with goosebumps right now. Yo. My dream ended here. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh, we're back. We're back. Oh. <laughs> that's what i wanted to see that's what i wanted to see i wanted to get that little that that, that that little scene that pushed me over with the nostalgia and that was it right there that moment right there was what i needed to, to cap off this amazing trailer bro they know what they're doing man they're hitting me right where it hurts where it feels good you know they're hitting me right dead center i literally got teary-eyed what the hell is wrong with me oh my god I'm not a kid anymore, man. I'm 32 years old, freaking getting teary-eyed over a freaking Matrix trailer. That's crazy, bro. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do this video right now. I'm trying to gather my thoughts and and really synchronize what I what I want to say. So, all right. So Trinity, not only was she the key to bringing Neil, last you know the last trilogy and 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 stuff like that here. 
It seems like Neil's going to have to count on her to deliver on something. And that's that's a good take. It's fresh, a new direction that we didn't expect. And it puts Trinity front and center without shying away from it, which I love that idea. Now, Neil is still the guy, okay? Obviously. Keanu Reeves is still the guy. <laughs> he is still the guy. Let's make that very clear. But... The fact that we're going to have Trinity even more involved is amazing. It's music to my ears. I just, I I loved everything about the trailer. And, and I said I wasn't going to be a hype beast, but God, 10 out of 10, man. I got to tell you right now, I love the score. I love the nostalgia feel that it has. There's so much meaning with every scene they're, they're showing us. It's not really spoiling the movie at the same time. I'm as confused as I was with the first trailer. And, you know, obviously, I'm just fresh f from watching the trailer. I've only seen it once, so I can't really give you a full analysis. Like, these people make movies for you to truly sit down and watch over and over and over. Like, the replayability here is ridiculous, even with just a trailer. And if you guys have any pointers that you want to discuss, no spoilers, but pointers and things that you got from this trailer, the last trailer, hey, feel free to comment and let me know. We'll go back and forth and overanalyze the crap out of this because they fed us so much but didn't give away the big plot points. I love that, you know, we also revisited Jada Pinkett Smith's character here. Seeing her here old and beat up and, like, washed up, I'm like, wait, what? Like, I... It took me a second to realize it was her, like her voice and like her mannerism is what gave it away because, you know, they did a phenomenal job with the makeup and the hairdo and just I'm glad that they are they're They're not running away and shying away from the idea that they are definitely revisiting that universe that we're going to get to see, a, you know, some of the same things we saw then, but kind of different now. Right. And and this is the perfect way to do a reboot. You know, outstanding, man. Outstanding work. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the fact that they had no shame in showing us Hugo Weaving as Agent Smith for this trailer, showing us that this is a parallel universe, showing us that things are repeating itself in similar ways that we already know. That is outstanding marketing. That is great storytelling. And I want to see which direction they go with because I don't know what they're doing. I, I I don't know. I don't. I. You guys may think like, oh, this guy's an idiot. What's wrong with this guy? Why is he geeking out so much? What's going on? What type of reaction is this? But I really, truly don't know. What I do know is that this is a parallel universe. They're they're doing some of the same sequences over and over, which we saw when they crossed paths in this scene right here. Trinity and Neo meeting again for the first time. Like that right there goes to show that we are a hundred percent gonna be seeing a lot of the same thing and like it's kinda gonna be it's gonna be like a uh reinitializing re reinition well, oh my god, I can't even talk. Man, re entering the matrix with Neo and Zion and you know showing Zion again. And revisiting that whole universe is, is so crucial as well because I feel like there's so much story to tell in Zion. Not just like something that happened way back when, but actually like seeing it and having fun with it. I remember watching the original trilogy and I wanted to see the like the Matrix universe where they do all the crazy stunts and stuff. Zion was like, ah, like I don't know. I was a kid too when I first watched the, the movies, you know. But this scene right here, too, also, uh, you know, every time they show it, it blows my mind. I, I can't wait to see how everything loads up and how they interact with that world. You know, obviously, we're going to see a lot of the Matrix and we're going to see a lot of Trinity. And I'm ready for it, man. This this motorcycle scene looks outstanding. And how she's telling him that part of me has been waiting for you all this time. And then he's fighting to get her back like. 
Guys, it's been a long time coming, man. We've been we've been wanting to see another Matrix for a while. That third one left us with a bad taste, and I think we're ready to jump back in. We're ready to uh, dive into this world that hopefully becomes a franchise once again. As much as I say that I don't care about what people think and the reviews and and all that stuff, I want this movie to do really good. I want this movie to do amazing because I want more. I don't want to see Keanu Reeves just end it on a on a reboot. You know what I mean? I want to see what else this world has to offer if it has anything else left to offer. You know, we'll see because people are 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 hard on on reboots and. And sometimes reboots are just trying to milk the cow, if you will, trying to just make an extra book. But I don't know. I feel like um, this is going to be a good one. I, that's what my hunch is telling me, guys. My hunch is telling me that this is going to be a fun, exciting movie to watch. And I, and I think we're going to get blown away. We're underestimating. Maybe we, we've been underestimating the fact that they could do another one and actually pull it off. At least for me. Because... Like I always mention in any video that I talk about the Matrix, that third one, I just, oh man, that third one left such a bad taste. And the fact that it's only half of the uh, Wachowskis working on it, I, we don't know how that's going to work out. So there's still a lot of questions that we need answers to, but I'm ready to see them. Uh, you know, It comes out Christmas week, so I'm ready, guys. I'm definitely going to be doing a review on it. I'm definitely buying this movie day one. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let me know if you guys are ready down below, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for tuning in, YouTube. Peace. Oh, God. The Matrix Resurrections. Wow.